Hello and welcome, it's me Nathan with Grandstream Support and in today's video we're going to be going over speed dialing. Now this is going to be a quick and short video because speed dialing is pretty straightforward but for any of you who have missed the memo here, uh, speed dial is a function in which instead of requiring the user to dial a 7, 10, or 11 digit number or maybe just a number to an extension, uh, they'll only have to remember uh, one or even four numerical values to dial that number. So to help you understand this, uh, we're going to go through this little PowerPoint presentation which shows you how speed dial works with our eSIM series PBX. Um, it first starts off with someone executing a speed dial number and as you can see uh, the box in the gray is the current database that our eSIM has for speed dial numbers. 1 is equal to 1002, 2 is equal to 1003, and so forth. So in this case we're going to be pressing 4. The call goes out to the UCM, which it checks for any dialing patterns that it matches by, um, and because they only hit the number 4, uh, that will more than likely hit the speed dial section if it has been programmed with a miracle value of 4. So then our PBX starts moving its brain around, confirms that it matches on the speed dial function, and as you can see here it has found a match. From there, the PBX knows it's going out to an outside number, thus we're out to get to the ITSP, or available trunk it has configured on it, which at that point, the number gets routed to the final destination. Now that part's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead, dive in, and show you how to configure this. As always, we're starting from the system dashboard. Usually this is the first thing that you'll see when you log into the PBX. Now in order to configure speed dial, we're gonna go to call features, scroll about halfway down, there you can see speed dial here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Alright, the first thing that you'll see is the speed dial. The only thing that you have to click on is the add button. From there we can go ahead and select a numerical value in which we can use as a speed dial. Now um, it will start off at zero and increment every time you add one, but if you want you can change this. Now obviously it has to be a numerical value, um, it can't be um, over four digits. So as you can see I'm pressing one there and I can't go beyond uh, four digits. So it's going to have to stay within the realm of uh, 1999 and zero. With that being said, uh, you also want to make sure that you don't run into any conflictions with your existing extensions and your speed dial operation. Now, to be quite honest, I don't know who would want a four-digit speed dial, but it is an option if you need that. Uh, so for my example, I'm going to go ahead and just use one as the speed dial reference. As you can see here, we also have something called our default destination, which if you're familiar with inbound routes, then you already know how to configure this. You basically point to where that speed dial is then going to route. And as you can see, we have everything from extensions, voicemail conference room, voicemail groups, IVRs, ring groups, queues, paging and intercom groups, which it's actually very common for a lot of people who use speed dial to use it with the paging and intercom groups. We also have fax, DISA, dial by name, and external numbers. And this is also uh, the majority of what I see uh, speed dial being used for is dialing an external number. But because I currently don't have a trunk, we're going to actually test it with a ring group. Now this one I had set up previously before I started this tutorial. And it should ring extensions 1000 through 2000, which are currently extensions I don't have close to me, so you won't hear them when they ring, but they will ring in the other room. But I'll actually be using an extension I have next to me, which is 1003. And then when I test it, I'll go ahead to the active call so you can see it actually working. So let's go ahead, uh, save this setting. Make sure you apply changes. From there, let's go ahead to active calls. Now from my extension, I'm going to go ahead and dial 1 and send that call. Now as you can see, 1003 is calling the extensions associated with that ring group. Now with that test done, um, you can go ahead and play around with speed dial to your heart's content. Uh, feel free to play around with it, uh, use it with uh, your customers, see how they like it, and simply just have fun with it.
But like I said, this was definitely going to be a short video because it's a very straightforward feature. But with that being said, this is Grandstream Support and you have a good one. We hope that you found that video tutorial helpful and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for the latest in video tutorials. I'm Nathan Sharp, you have a good one.